monitor so as you know the monitor is like this this is called monitor whatever you are going to look uh, see something on screen that is called monitor and keyboard mouse so most of people know that what is a keyboard and mouse so this is called keyboard what are the keys are there and uh, this is a mouse are called uh, mouse and keyboard these are called inputs devices simply you can say that and uh, disk drive zip drive and cd rom dvd so there is a disk drive will be there so in the cpu we can put the disk drives drives and cd rom also memory ram ram will be in the cpu and the speakers and printers this is called the speakers okay so this is called a printer so there are different kinds of printers also there this is one of the example for the printer only and software see the the term software refers to the set of instructions that direct the hardware to compile the task so as you know that the software uh, see so how the software will work so what are the instruction given by the uh, what is called uh, operator so on the base of the instructions so the computer the software will work nothing but it will direct to the nothing but it will give the some direction to the hardware hardware so hardware will do the work so that is the, the set of instruction that directs direct the hardware to accomplish a task so there is a system software application software and utility software see for example if you take into account there is a link between these things so application software and which can interlink with the os that is the operating system or system of, of software then it will link with the hardware then hardware will work through the system software then it will be the application software so here we will discuss one by one the system software that is the operating system that is called os simply we can call os some people will call what is your os if you are using system they will call they will ask that what is your os uh, is it your os is working properly or not that your operating system so here the system software are used to control all components of computers see whatever you are using the software the system software are used to control all the components of software components of computer and serves as an interface between user and hardware so the operating system can work between the user nothing but if you are giving some commands to the computer and it will work between the you and your hardware nothing but computer hardware for example if you want to give some commands for example if you want to enter 2354 for example if you want to calculate it. so so if you ex if you find out some software so if you enter the data automatically it will give the results and control all components of computers interface between user and hardware then computer software so the application software is is used and designed for the specific purpose of the user so what are the application software nothing but when there are some software is also there so which can be applicable for example if you want to type a letter you can type in ms word also word uh, there is a notepad also you can type word pad also you can type but if you want to get some new applications or new features so you can use a different types of softwares that is a application software so the application software is used and designed for the specific purpose of the user for example you may use uh, ms word i may use ms excel for example if you want to put your tables so you can use ms word also you can use ms excel also so which is very familiar with you then you can use that kind of software and ms powerpoint powerpoint ppt we can see that and paint or uh, coral draw nothing but coral draw we can use for the drawing purpose and the typing purpose and games and ms access so these are the some softwares basic softwares and utility softwares the utility software is used to remove any problem for example when you are using the software uh, when, you are, when you are using a what is called computer when you are using some applications you will get some virus so how you can re remove that kind of virus 
so that utility software is used to remove the any problem thing but when you are getting some problems so when you are doing something in a, in on your computer so in order to remove your that kind of problems so this kind of uh, utility software can remove the virus we can say in computer terminology we can remove the virus and solve a complex situation in computers for example if you take the partition uh, magic for example if you want to do some partition magic for example whatever drive is there or disk so if you want to do if you want to divide on the base of different in uh, on the base of your interest on the base of simple the computer also can divide the can do the some partitions and backup utility for example if you remove some very uh, files from the computer so if you have the backup utility automatically it will backup every file which are deleted by you then antivirus when virus came into our system so when you are using uh, antivirus so it will threat nothing but so it will be it will be the safeguard to the our computers and data recovery also if you do something if you lost something so data recovery will come nothing but data will come and security software for example if you using a system for the security purpose for example if you are working in intelligence department so there are some firewalls will be available so if you are using the firewalls so automatically it will secure the your software and your computers whatever you and if you whatever the data is entered to the computer nobody will tap to you nothing but nobody will tap to your data then uh it comes to the bits and bytes for example what is the bit and what is the bytes so your bit is nothing but one digit either zero and one so generally we uh, we will get some doubts from that uh, bit and bytes so bit is nothing but one digit that is either zero or one it may be one zero it may be what what is a byte so byte is any combination of zero and one it means combination of zero and one so as called and uh act tech so computer only understand that zero and one for example here when you are giving the off and on it cannot come to know that what is off and what is on it may be switch on switch off or it may be zero for absence one for presence but here the computer can understand the numbers because it is an electronic device but if you give that one zero means one it will take one results but it cannot give the results that is one is zero one is on or off only it can understand zero and one number thing or numbers but before giving that numbers to the before assigning the numbers to the computers so we should know that what is zero and what is one so before knowing that what is zero and what is one only we should have to give the code to the computer then the computer will give the results see nothing but how many people are using how many people are they switch on and how many people switch off with the number uh, 25 stored as a 8 bytes using the binary uh, number system for example if you take into account 25 so that is a uh, number uh, bytes and we will discuss one by one what how we can divide how we can get that eight bytes so on the base of values so where you get one it will indicate with light on or light off and uh, for the computer so what is input and what is output and what is the process for example if you take that inputs and processing and output for example what are the commands we are going to give the computer for example through we will give the command to the voice okay nowadays so we are giving a command from the what is called a keyboard and we will give the command from the mouse this these are called input devices so what is the processing nothing but cpu and this desktop is a processing so what is the output sometimes we will look at that output on the screen also so for example if you take that uh, uh the printer is nothing but the output device because 
whatever you give some data so it will be the clear picture you think but it will be the data on the values so for example if you imagine this kind of graph the information for the exam for example you know to write an examination so the information is stored in his mind so if you want to reveal a about something about the devices so it will be the results i think but when you have the mind for example if i ask the question what is the two plus two so two plus two is nothing but it is the information you, which we have already what is the two plus two you know that so that is the information for the exam you know that so you can reveal the exams through your mouth so if i ask you something so you may give some answers so that is a uh, information from for the exam and exam results and how information processing cycle takes place for example if you take that information processing cycle so they consist of four parts where each part involves one or more specific components of the computers for example how the information can uh, process what is the cycle of the process so as you know that input and processing and output and storage for example see whatever the commands you are going to give that is called input so what are the computer can process do something nothing but it will connect with the hardware and software it will be the results so that is called processing then after after getting the processing we will get output also so after getting the output we need to store it whether it want to show or it, it will if you want to save you can save in your device or if you want to if you don't want to save in device simple it can be stored in the c drive or some other the, uh, download drive or some drives see this is the i called as i told that input is a keyboard or mouse which will give the input this is called uh, processing unit then output uh, which whatever we are going to see on the screen that is output so this is a storage nothing but hard disk we can store in the hard disk so this is about that uh, processing of cycle so as you know that computer program uh, perform the operating on the data to trans uh, transform it into information so what are the output uh, what are the input given by the keyboard so the output the computer process that uh, output through the any output device such that monitor to display so whatever we are going to give some inputs so automatically we will get results on the inputs that is on display so the storage thing for example if you take that uh, storage so store uh, computer store the result of the processing operating the storage device such as the hard disk so as i told the hard disk so if you have the hard disk only you can save directly so if you have the cpu you can save with the disk also but from the hard disk it is very different from the normal disk uh, disk disk so for example in your computer you may have that hard disk for example the hard disk storage is 50 and 500 gb or 500 mb for example if you want to save more data on your computer so what you have to do simply you can purchase the hard disk so you can save that uh, your data or your files in the hard disk See, for example, if you want to do something about uh, anything, uh, it means, for example, here we have taken example such as the uh, stock. Is it visible? See, station ban. For example, if you want to purchase something about uh, pens or books, something. 
so for example if you if you children so you may go to some shop shop so if you give orders for a notebook eraser pen and stopper for example here each of the pen it has cost is 1.5 rupees eraser is 8 or 0 80 paise and here if you take your 4 rupees and 50 paise 50 uh, 50 4.5 you think by 4 rupees 50 paise so if you want to calculate it how what is the process for example if you enter into the excel sheet automatically give the results so as each item cost together and organize the data and computational total use so here uh, for example when you enter into that uh, shopping malls for example if you want to purchase uh, vegetables fruits other shoppings uh, in the shopping malls so automatically they enter the data nothing but what is the cost of the pen or what is the cost of the book and cost of the something so uh, when they when you visit to the particular uh, storage so simple they will uh, scan their board so on the base of the bar only so they will get information about the particular uh, bag or something item so in the display automatically it will show like this in the display it will show like this so if you went to the medical shop also most of the people are uh, following like this so item number items notebook what is the quantity uh, what is the price and what is the total Here, eraser, pen, stoppers. For example, if you purchase three notebook, two notebook, for example, notebook two, what is the price? Four point five rupees. So the total is nine rupees. So eraser is two. So price of the is eighty paise. Then eighty into one, one point six. So if you want purchase a pen, four pens, four pens and quantities, one point five rupees. So we need multiply. You will get six rupees. Stoppler, three stoppers. So this is the star price of the stoppers is two point two zero. So then you add all those things. This is your total. Money, then whatever you are spending that money for the stationary purpose. So, here that is the input which are given by that uh, user. So, it will uh, do the processing that is uh, adds each item cost together and organize the data and computes the total dues. So, automatically, it will come the total dues, nothing but how much total value of the products or items so so when we are purchasing when they are doing the processing automatically we save the data in our in their data storage facilities where they are updated the storage for example if you take our disk also or normal disk The computer is an electronic device, uh, see, which we can accept the data. For example, whatever we have, the data is there, it can accept the data and it can process it. For example, whatever we enter the data, it can accept and it will do the process and give the results after that processing, for example, and also store the process data. For example, if you want to take the data in Excel, so I will give the data. For example, if you take the age of the students, for example, if you enter your age and your friend's age, you will calculate the average values. So whatever you are going to enter the data that can accept it, and it can process it after passing it will give the results and also store the process data for example if you take that uh, for example i would like to say that uh, excel uh, just a minute uh, excel sheet is visible hello Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. For example, if you take this, this is Excel sheet. For example, marks. For example, okay. For example, whatever you enter the data, it can accept. For example, if you take in your internal marks out of hundred, you may get eighty. Or somebody is get seventy. Somebody is get sixty. Somebody is got uh, seventy-five. Okay. We have entered the four members data. So it can accept the data. Then after getting the data only, what it can be, it can be processed. For example, when you give some commands, automatically will give the process. For example, here I'm going to put total. For example, this is a process. For example, here I need to give the commands. There is a total nothing but here in Excel is equal to sum SVM, open the bracket, then select the marks from B3 to B6. Then uh, close the bracket, then enter. So total marks is 285, 285. 
so when you add manually you will get 285 when you give in the command so it will get 285 so these are the four marks only you can easily do manually but when are the large numbers for example if in your class there are 80 members are there so if i enter the marks of 80 students so it will take more time to calculate but if i enter the values or if i give the commands to computer it will give the results within a fraction of seconds so this is the processing so after processing only the, it will the data the it will give the results it will give the results so for example see after uh, give the results after that processing so and also store the process data for example if, for example when you want to close it for example this is the data of the marks of four members so if i want to close it for example see here i want to close it for example what it is asking do you want to save the changes you made to book one so it will ask the data for example where if you want to save it we will save or else for example if yes if i but if for example see if i want to yes if i click the where yes, so see it will ask the save as where it can where it can be saved for example if i save documents or desktop for example if i say, you need to select the where it can be saved or computers in any in, in, in drive for example whatever you need can select so if i select desktop only so here i need to give the name file name or else book one no problem file for example marks for example ba mark for example if i say that so it will automatically save for example if you take uh, so it is automatically delete so see here something i entered for example for example if i want to close it for example see again it is asking that do you want to save the change made so if i was if i say, click no it will not see whatever i change here to 1545 for example something is i entered the data so for example if i click on no what will happen so if you open the earlier file It will not be there because 15, 14 or 41. So because they will ask the data whether if you want to save the file or not. And uh, personal computers, uh, four major functions are there. There is the input, input data, process data, output information, and store information. See, so for example, if you want to take so as i told you that from the beginning the keyboard is a one of the input for example from the keyboard by using keyboard only i enter the data the marks for example so here uh, there is 80 so on the base of using keyboard only see is it visible keyboard so here i'm going to enter 56 then 85 23 so by using that uh, input device this is input uh, this is called input keyboard is an input so the key uh, on the base of input device so we are going to give the data to the cpus nothing but the data cpu can do the some process so whatever we are doing this process automatically it gives the information on the screen the information out nothing but so we will give the, the we will enter the data from that uh, device that is input device so the input device is connected with the cpu so from the cpu it will give the it nothing but the cpu can do the process and it will show on the screen so whatever the screen is visible for you so this is the screen so it can be in the results for example data information see data is a represent of the facts or idea for example data is nothing but information or fact for example if you take numbers of example word for example, this is a number 3541. This is Ahmed name, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. This is the data. For example, the country name Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, city. For example, picture. For example, if you take the roll number 3547, Ahmed name, the city is Kuala Lumpur, country is Malaysia.
see here if you take 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 okay for example when you enter the data 2 plus 2 there is a plus in the instruction so when you are using the mobile uh, for example see here 2 2 so here when you are giving command that is, is equal to sum this one plus this one because i enter the sum that is a, you, you will get is equal to sum say yeah it will be the command for so whatever we are going to give you some command it is an instruction there is a place so in the manually i will then a command the sum sum is nothing but total add so that is, is equal to four is nothing but information that is called results so if you want to observe once again uh, you can take a personal computer that is an input device this is a mouse so this is mouse and uh, input device the keyboard so what are the command given from these two things so the system unit will take into consider it will take that input so by taking the inputs it will process so then out of the take the process it will display on the screen that is a display device so for example if you take the external device for example uh, printer so whatever will give some commands so computer can uh, the cpu can generate and it will show in the screen so what are the screen is available for example what is the what it shows so when you give the command to print so whatever it can shows in on the screen only it will dis display on the print that is an external device for example if here something is going on for example if you take movie so how we can open the movie nothing but by using with both commands or uh, with a keyboard or mouse so if you open a movie so from the hard disk from the system unit so if you open here the window will shows nothing but the picture will shows so the voice will be delivered by the from the or delivered by the speakers that is the external device Uh, or else i'm going to show you see uh user type klmu for example if you take if you are using a input so keyboard convert characters to binary codes for example if you take the klmu words if you convert into the binary codes so that is the uh, binary code will come in the computers so whatever it can it generates it will displays on the screen so after display only if you want all processing data stored done in the binary form then what for the one trans uh, transmission to the printer is binary form so here whatever it shows the same thing it will come on print the printer converts binary code to catalyst before the print here is for example inputs some more inputs as i told you that mouse and keyboard for example this is a webcam i am using so webcam also input because uh, whatever i am using webcam so the webcam is showing me okay so for example in your mobile if you open uh, if you open uh, the video if you on your video so that is the video is nothing but an input if you give the input for example if you open your video so automatically i am I, I will able to see your face also that is a input device and mic for example if you are using the mic for the computers or some or somewhere so the mic is nothing but input whatever you are going to give some commands to inputs so it will display on sounds for example the speakers the scanner for example whatever you put on the scanner so automatically will display on that uh, screen and here if you take it of a ram that is a random access memory I am a uh, floppy disk, for example, earlier we were used the, instead of using that uh, CDs and pen drives, earlier we have used that floppy disk in order to storage our uh, photo or some letter, something, something, or some materials. And uh, nowadays, hard disk, the permanent storage. So, RAMs like this, there are some chips, RAM chips will be available. So, this this in the, in the CPU also, there is some these things will be there in the CPU. 
So after that, uh, we will show that monitor. There's a display things, the speaker. There's the output will come. Whatever we will speak on mic, the speakers will be the output, and the printer. So printer will be the printer is also output because whatever gives some commands from the inputs, so it will generate and it will display. So whatever the display is there, then it will be the output. So enter the data to be processed. There is a keyboard, scanner, mouse, uh, trackball, a touch screen. For example, nowadays we are using the touch screen also. Microphones, digital cameras. So I have. Uh, shall I start? And uh, I will be. Hello. Supraja, Lee and Ramesh. Hello. Hello. Are you there? Hello. Ramesh. Hello.